Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breast, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. Today on CityCast Philly, Philly loves brunch. But in a city with a busy and ever-changing food scene, where should we start to find the best spot to eat? So CityCast Philly food contributor Dave Wes is back on to highlight some of the best brunch options in the city to help kick off your weekend a little bit early. It's Thursday, January 11th. I'm Trini Nuri, and here's what Philly's talking about. Dave, welcome back to the show, Dave. Thank you for having me again. Dave, I love the content that you show us on Instagram and through all of your work with Feeding Time TV. It's so great to talk about food with you. But I got to ask you this question. What actually makes a brunch spot an actual brunch spot? Well, for me, it has to do usually with two things. It's booze. So there needs to be a good mimosa or Bloody Mary or the option to bring your own champagne um, and then make it for you. And I think it's got to it's got to have a really good mix of options between a breakfast and a lunch. So it's something for everybody. So if you want to go more brunch with your eggs, bacon, French toast, pancakes, or if you're looking more for maybe a sandwich or something or a salad, it's, it needs to have a nice combination of both. Is that why brunch is so popular in the city? I think that plays a big part. I also think uh, Philadelphia is a big drinking city. So brunch is basically the perfect hangover cure because you get the breakfast foods, they're heavy, greasy, and then uh, hair of the dog. So have your mimosa or your Bloody Mary or your Bloody Maria or whatever whatever your fancy is. Bloody Maria? I never heard of that. What is that? <laughs> That's a Bloody uh, Mary, but with tequila instead of vodka. Ah, interesting. I'm always learning something new from you. Okay. <laughs> So let's start off with something basic, your go-to brunch spot in Philly. I would say Soraya. They do a really good brunch. Pro tip, you want to make your reservations. It's a very popular spot for dinner and their brunch. But it has everything that you love about their dinner for brunch options. And it's like $42, not including drinks. So when you're there, I highly recommend the kebabs and the Caledonian prawns. And all the solid team and all the all the bread that you can eat because it's fresh right out the oven. Okay. They're located in Fishtown and they do brunch only on Saturday and Sundays. I believe 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Got it. I love that pro tip about making reservations. I feel like sometimes you wake up and you want to just try a new spot, but definitely reservations is something you got to do in this town. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, definitely. Especially if it's a good restaurant, like some for brunch and for dinner. Some of these restaurants are booked out for a couple months. Yeah. Okay, Dave, if I'm in University City, where would you recommend I go for brunch? I would say White Dog Cafe. They're kind of like an institution out there. They're open Saturday, Sundays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. for brunch. And the go to order, my go to order there is the Pork Belly Benedict. Amazing. Okay, Pork Belly Benedict. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen that on a brunch menu before. But hey, you know, folks like to try new things, right? (laughs) Uh, So speaking of like non-traditional brunch stuff, Dave, where else is like your go-to spot for brunch? Oh, my favorite spot. So this is where I spend most of my brunches. and I'm there usually twice a month. It's China Gourmet in Mayfair, so Northeast Philly. Uh, it's I do dim sum. So, mm. like, the Chinese do, like, their breakfast and brunch is dumplings. And China Gourmet is really cool because if you go there, they, they open at, like, 930 in the morning. Uh, the sooner you get there, the better because that parking lot, there is parking, but the parking gets insane mm-hmm. around, like, 1030, 11. It's a very popular spot. 
but you can go, you go there and there's ladies walking around with these giant carts of dumplings and food. And you kind of just like pick which ones you want. Like, oh, you want like shrimp dumplings or uh, you want pork dumplings or you want egg rolls or spring rolls. And you just kind of point what you want and they tally it up on your receipt. And I enjoy it with a nice cup of tea. They do have a liquor license. So if you want to have some beer or something with your dumplings, you can do that too. But that's one of my favorites right there. I like that. Okay, so I have some recommendations as well. If yeah. you're ever in North Philly, there's this hidden spot. It's a hidden gem, I want to say. It's called The Wiz. They offer really like savory combinations. So they'll do like fruity pebbles with French toast. But this is actually a takeout only spot. So you can't oh. sit down. I would recommend going super early, like before anyone gets there. Um, but yes, I love going to The Wiz. I'm going to have to check that out. Okay. I also like brunch and music. So I love like live music. So my recommendation for brunch with some live music is go to Amari's on Baltimore Avenue on Sundays. I believe it's every other Sunday. And not only do you get great food, the prices are pretty decent on your wallet, and there's live jazz. My go-to item on that menu would be the shrimp and grits. I don't know Mm. what they do to those grits, but it is so creamy and like the shrimp, it it just hits. It's like the perfect combo. Magic grits, I love it. Love grits. A recommendation for folks looking for a birthday brunch So one year I decided to celebrate my birthday and my homegirls and I, we went up to Maniunk and we went to Somo and they had such a great brunch menu, but they also offer pitchers and towers of mimosas. So if you're looking for, you know, a boozy brunch, I would recommend that spot. Whenever you, whenever I see a tower brought out for brunch, I was like, I want to be at that table. (laughs) Like, they're dedicated to bring the party. Like, as soon as this, that those towers get paraded to a table, I was like, those people mean business. Right. That brunch is business right there. Right. <laughs> Who doesn't love a boozy brunch? For real. Dave, we, t- we talk a lot about, like, spots. But we got to talk about, like, what do you actually pick for your go-to food item when you go for brunch? I got to go with pancakes. I love a pancake. Okay. Who in the city has, like, one of the best pancakes? It, so recently, I was just there over this weekend, and Middle Child Clubhouse has the most fantastic single pancake on a plate. It's a fat boy, so it's like, I don't know, like it, maybe two inches, maybe I'm exaggerating. <laughs> it's like one pancake that's just fat. It comes on a giant plate with a river of maple syrup, and then this giant smiley face piece of butter in the middle just melting into it and it's got like lemon in it like lemon zest it's fluffy and it is amazing not a traditional pancake because it's super fat yeah i was gonna say it it sounds like a cake (laughs) yeah it's probably like three pancakes in one that's how thick it is oh my gosh it sounds so good and this is located in the kensington fishtown neighborhood it's on front street you know what dave I got to tell you, I just love when a place can make the border of a pancake just so crispy. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, yeah. (laughs) But like this, but it's fluffy. Like, oh, my God. And then like, give me a whole scoop of butter. I don't care. Just give it to me. Yes. Uh, I don't like count calories. I don't like, oh, like, let me get the, you know, like, no, no, put everything on it. I'm coming to brunch. I came to eat. Yeah. I overheard a table. like, do you have sugar-free maple syrup? I was like, no. Oh, you need to, sorry. You need yeah. to commit. No. You need to commit yes. to this brunch. Sugar-free <laughs> maple syrup. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, I hope they didn't have any, like, you know, dietary, you know, whatever. But it's just oh, like, yeah. come on. <laughs> just, like, come to brunch and just, like, wear stretchy pants. Like, just yeah. <laughs> come to eat. Come to eat. More brunch recommendations in the city after the break. This is CityCast Philly. Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breasts, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. 
And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. Dave, another category I love to get your recs on is where can we do brunch, but like buffet style? Ooh, there's two in Philly that I really enjoy. Um, I'm going to start off with, with LaCroix. Um, that's in the Rittenhouse Hotel. This is a extravagant, fancy, pinky up type brunch. So this is something that you would get dressed up to go to. You're going to drop maybe, I think it's around 140. So it's an expensive, <laughs> like it's a birthday or you graduated college or a special Hopefully occasion. Hopefully get like proposed to. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this buffet, it's throughout the whole entire restaurant it's set up. Unlimited seafood. You can get East Coast oysters, West Coast oysters, caviar, all the baked goods. Oh, my God. Um, they have cutting stations within inside the kitchen because you actually get to walk in through the kitchen. And there was like a, a leg of lamb. There's sausages, rotisserie chicken. And then you walk even farther back. And it's like in the refrigerated area. And they have a whole section of desserts where you can do like your own s'mores, cheesecakes, uh, creme brulees. It's it's really it's a whole ex- it's, a whole experience. It really is because you get to tour inside the kitchen, which you normally wouldn't be allowed to back there. But that's where the cutting station is. They have soup where they fill out little shot glasses of soup, so you can take like shots of soup. Like that's great because you don't want to get too filled up, right? But you still want to taste it. <laughs> that is so cool. Where else can yeah. we go? I would say Harp and Crown, right in the center city. Um, they do they convert their whole bar. So if you've been there at night, like where they have the bartenders, they turn that into a giant buffet of ridiculous breakfast foods. What I like about them is they have a make your own donut station. So you have all. Yeah, (laughs) it's crazy. It's these donuts on pegs. You pick up your donut. There's different icings and you can top them with like fresh fruit or like jimmies or chocolate chips. And they have a an omelet bar. So there's a guy that'll make you any type of omelet you want. And then the sleeper there is these little chicken nuggets. They're better than Chick-fil-A. Very similar. <laughs> okay. But it's like this giant crock of chicken fingers. And what I do is I make a waffle. And in each hole of the waffle, I put a chicken nugget and I drizzle it with maple syrup. <laughs> it's I good. I love that. And I am so hungry right now. I should have known better <laughs> to eat something before we start talking. <laughs> Dave, brunch can... Uh, start to add up like yes. LaCroix and it sounds like a uh, harp and crown, especially if you're trying to buy food and drinks. So are there any brunch spots that you like that are BYOB in the city? Yeah. So Sabrina's right off the bat comes to mind. They have multiple locations in Philly, in Jersey. They're all BYOB. So you can pick up your bottle of champagne or Prosecco and mix it there. Uh, And they have really good food. I enjoy it. Um, You do want to get there early because the line, I think we were talking about the lines do get pretty crazy crazy at the Sabrina's Sabrina's. location. It's so popular because it's so good. They also have like vegan and vegetarian options for folks. Uh, sometimes though they have this like I guess like rule at their restaurant is that the whole party kind of has to be there when your table is ready yeah. um, if you go to the Wynwood location they offer more parking but like Callow Hill isn't a lot of parking so you might want to do like yeah. a ride share there but it's yeah. also cool because around Callow Hill they've got like the free library is around there and the Target is nearby so while you're waiting, you can probably <laughs> pop in and like go shopping real quick. But yeah, I love, 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 love Sabrina's. Yeah, it's a go-to. That the cannoli French toast, it's a, it's a winner. I love getting the ultimate Mexi scramble. Or my kids are vegetarians, uh, so they like to go for the tofu scramble, which is really good. I've tried. Nice. I had like a little taste taste. It's really good. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much everything on that menu is A1. All right, let's get some brunch and no libs. Where should we go? Ooh, honey, sit and eat is a go-to for me in Northern Liberties. Um, my go-to for that one is Dad's Hobo Hash. It's like a fully loaded plate of potatoes, peppers, onions, and cheese. It's like if you need a like a hearty breakfast, that's that's your go-to, and it's a BYOB. Perfect. 
All right, so another spot that I really enjoy is Cafe Le Maud. So that's in Northern Liberties, and they have a French Lebanese uh, menu. Mm -hmm. BYOB has some amazing coffee options, but like I love the red shashuka. They have a green shashuka too, and okay, it's just like have to a. Explain this one to me. So it's like stewed tomatoes and eggs and sausage. The green shashuka uh, does not have meat in it. So that might be a good one for your kids, but it's it's great for a cold day because it's just like hot and steamy. They make this really good hot sauce that I like drizzle on top. And but a pro tip for here, this is another one. You want to get here early. They do not do reservations. Mm. It's first come, first serve. It's a tinier place, but it's definitely worth the wait. Just really good food. That sounds really great. Okay, I have a recommendation for a BYOB spot. This yes. is actually along Vine Street. It's a spot called Brunch N, like the letter N. They're open at 10 a.m. One day, one Sunday morning, I got there as soon as they opened the doors, okay? Like, the wait staff was still, like, preparing <laughs> to set up, but I got there super early because it is super popular. But also, they have a really great playlist, and I Ooh. feel like sometimes we don't really think about that sometimes with brunch, but that can really, like, also create such a great ambiance and a good vibe, especially if you're with friends or whatever, if you've got relatives coming into town. But I was a little shocked because there was an uncorking fee that came along okay. with the BYOB. So sometimes you might see that at some of these spots. Yeah. Okay. So we went through some different categories like BYOB, buffet style, some great spots to, you know, go for a birthday brunch. But where can we go in the city that will pretty much appease anyone? Oh, that's easy. Reading Terminal. Yeah. Okay. There's something for everyone. If you're vegan, vegetarian, they're gluten free, they have literally a stand or uh, a vendor in the Reading Terminal for everyone. You can get you can get breakfast sandwiches or uh, Jewish deli sandwiches over Herschel's. You can get your pork sandwiches over at the Knicks. Or if you want gluten-free uh, corn dogs, you can go to Fox and Son. It literally has almost every cuisine you can think of. And it's, it's delicious. Like some people are going to say, oh, it's a tourist spot. There's a lot of tourists that go there, especially on the weekend. So expect crowds. Um, but you can go there during the week and get breakfast and brunch, too, because they're open seven days a week. Uh, and I, I have always found that there's something to eat and something for everyone at that location. I love it. CityCast Philly food contributor Dave Wes. Dave, it was so great to get all these recommendations and chat with you on CityCast Philly. Thank you for always having me. I'm always hungry and I'm always more hungry after we talk. <laughs> me too, me too. To make your brunch reservations at one of the places we mentioned today, check out the links in our show notes. And speaking of food, we also have a really cool episode about some of the best diners that are still around in the city. So go check that out in our feed as well. Oh, I'm so hungry, y'all. But that's all for today here on CityCast Philly. If you enjoyed this episode about some of the best brunch spots in Philly, tell a friend, rate the show, leave us a review, and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to sign up for our morning newsletter, Hey Philly, to learn more about what else Philly's talking about. We'll be back tomorrow morning with the Friday News Roundup. Bye. <laughs>